everyone, KidMax Live is about to start. I hope you're excited to see some kids from around our sites this week, and I hope that this serves as some inspiration for you to do KidMax at home as a family. Parents, I hope you're hanging in there. We miss you and your kids so, so much in KidMax. Just a couple of quick reminders before we get started. Again, you can head to the parent blog to get all of the activities that we're talking about today and more besides. Um, you can check out our Instagram account to see pictures of kids and what they're doing um, during the week with KidMax at home. And if you wanna send us your uh, pictures to show us what you're doing, you can send that to us at KidMax at TheMeetingHouse.com. We would love to see it. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you enjoy this week's episode of Kid Max Live. Hey guys, welcome back to Kid Max Live. I'm Sean and I'm super glad to be here with you guys today. Now, I hope you guys had a great week despite not being able to visit friends and maybe some family. This week you guys got up to all kinds of different projects. And judging by the photos we've received, we can see you guys got really creative. Take a look at these pictures. We had great coloring work and you guys blew me away with these t-shirt designs. We actually have more photos for you and we're gonna show that at the end of Kid Max Live. Let's take a look at what we have for our preschool friends. Our big idea for this month is the Holy Spirit helps us. And our story today is called Stephen is Chosen. Let's check in with Natalie as she's ready to read our story. Hey, thanks, Sean. Hi friends, my name is Natalie, and I'm gonna share our Bible story with you today. Our Bible story is from a book of the Bible called Acts, and Acts is found in the New Testament after Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So the story is from the book of Acts, chapter six, and here's what happened. Many people had become followers of Jesus. They were called his disciples. In fact, the church grew and grew and grew. All the people of the church shared everything they had, including their food. There were people who really depended on that food too, and they just needed it just to survive. Pretty soon, they began to argue about food. You see, some of them weren't getting enough, and some people were getting more than others. The 12 disciples of Jesus met together. They said, our job is to tell everyone about Jesus. We need to pray and ask God to help us pick some people who have the Holy Spirit living in them. They could help share the food fairly. Everyone liked this idea. The disciples prayed, then they chose seven people to help share the food. The seven people were Stephen, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The people prayed for these seven helpers. They prayed that God would help them be kind and fair as they shared the food with everyone. And guess what happened? With the help of the Holy Spirit, These seven people were awesome food sharers. Everyone had what they needed. At the same time, the 12 disciples were able to keep telling others about Jesus. More and more people became followers of Jesus and the church kept on growing. I love that story because we had people who were telling others about Jesus and using their their special gifts that way. And then we had people who were uh, sharing food and helping to organize that and using their gifts that way. I think that is awesome. And I'm happy that I got to share that story with you today. I'm gonna send you back to Mr. Sean. (laughs) Thanks, Sean. That was a great story. It was awesome to see how the Holy Spirit helped the people share the food so well. Now let's look at our craft for this week. We're doing a coloring page of Stephen, one of the seven helpers. This is what the pictures look like that your parents can print out for you. And here are some pictures of some of our friends who've already done the coloring. I'm excited to see how your craft turns out. Remember to send us pictures to kidmaxatthemeetinghouse.com. Let's move on to see what we have for a grade one to five friends. Today's big idea, following Jesus is an all day, every day commitment. In today's God story, we're gonna look at how Paul and Silas's all day, every day commitment to Jesus had a huge impact on a particular family from jail. And in our life story this week, Chris shares how he discovered that he can follow Jesus even while skateboarding. Let's get a sneak peek. 
Skateboarding is where I feel the happiest. It's where I can connect any sort of good times in my life to. If I think back to a good day or a good time, it most definitely had something to do with skateboarding. It makes no sense that this toy that was created can bring so much joy to people's lives. Not only when I am skateboarding myself, but watching skateboard videos, reading skateboard magazines, talking with people about skateboarding. It's a passion that I have that God has given me, and it feels like nothing else. That's awesome. I'd love to hear what hobbies you have that you think you could use for Jesus. For our prayer activity today, we're praying that God will help those we love to follow Jesus every day. I asked a couple of friends to share with us who they're praying for. So here's what we're gonna do. I'll start. Dear God, please help our friends who feel lonely to follow Jesus despite what they're going through. Dear God, help my cousin Ethan follow Jesus every day, amen. Dear God, Please help my neighbors on my street and my friends at school to follow Jesus every day. Amen. Dear God, please help my friends and my neighbors follow Jesus every day. Amen. Dear God, please help our family follow you each and every day. Dear God, please you help baby brother Evie when he grow up uh, to follow um. Jesus, amen. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will help the church to follow Jesus every day. Great job, friends. Thank you for sharing who you were praying for this week. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed Kid Max Live. Music time is coming up soon where you can worship as a family. This is a good time to continue your activity pages or join your family for the teaching to see what you can learn. I hope to see you again for another episode of Kid Max Live. And as promised earlier, here are more photos of what you were doing at home and the amazing crafts that you did. Holy Spirit, holy, uh, uh, holy, holy Spirit, holy, uh, uh, holy, holy Spirit, holy Spirit, live in me, live in me. Holy Spirit, holy, uh, uh, holy, holy Spirit, holy, uh, uh, holy, holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, lead the way. Holy Spirit. Spirit.